Uh, well, you know what? The weather is absolutely beautiful outside. I love this time of the year. And P.F. Chang's half and full marathon is not too far off. So maybe with the beautiful weather and a couple marathons in the valley, you might be thinking about starting to run. Or maybe you're in the process of running. Well, a lot of things that runners don't know about is the proper shoes. I can't tell you how many times I hear people saying, my feet hurt, I'm not a good runner. Well, this is by Lance and Karen, who are with Soul Sports, um, and they're here to explain to us the mystery behind running shoes and being able to run successfully without pain. So welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So tell me a little bit about this. Now, when it comes to your feet and wearing the proper shoes, um, why is it so important? I mean, why is it that you hear some people say, well, I try to r run a mile and you know, my knees are killing me. I'm just not built for running. What do you think it's all about? Well, getting fit to the right shoe makes a big difference if you're going to be running a lot. Mm -hmm. People are used to buying shoes based on looks, but when you <laughs> run, you really want to discard that, even though a lot of shoes look great, but first and foremost priority is function. Make okay. sure they're properly matched to you. Okay. So coming to a running store where there's a lot of expertise to properly match your foot type and the way you move to your shoes is okay. ideal. Okay. So what do you mean by foot type? I mean, how do you know what type of feet you have? What is it that we're looking at? Well, for starters, some people have high arches, some people have flat feet. Okay. So that's, there's an everything in between, for one. And then, beyond that, how do you move when you're actually running? Some people's toes point in, some point out, some people's knees bow in, okay. some out. So we need to assess that to figure out what shoe's going to be best. Okay, so if you're somebody that runs like this, yes. this would be called, uh, the technical term is pronation? Pronation, yeah. Okay, and if you run like this, that's where your feet are literally, I've yeah. seen some people run like this. What's this called? That's called supination. Supination, and what about if you just run like this, which is actually somewhat of an ideal way, yes. sort of? We, we call that neutral. Neutral, in between, okay. Yes. So, and, and at a typical running, so they'll have those three types of shoes and yes. categories to fit. Yes. Now, why would, if I was somebody that was neutral, like, you know, my feet were mm -hmm. flat like this, and um, I was wearing, but I was wearing pronated shoes, yeah. what kind of pains would that cause? Well, it could result in things like shin splints, knee pain, uh -huh. those kinds of things. A lot of times we find people suffering from those things don't have the shoe properly matched to their foot and the way that they move. Okay. So that's what our goal is, to okay. properly match them up. Okay, and when people go to your store or any other specific running store, like, yeah. you know, your general sporting goods stores probably won't have it, um, you can teach people, you get them on a machine, you actually mm -hmm. watch how they run. Well, it only takes about 30 seconds. We have uh -huh. them run briefly on a treadmill, and we film the way their feet move from the back, and then we can play it back in slow motion and see does the foot move inwards in that pronated motion like you just mentioned, or just to see what's going on, and then from there we can explain what's happening and guide them towards the right type of shoe. Okay. Now, how would you know if you are wearing the wrong type of shoes? I mean, how would you know? Let's say, you know, I remember a couple of years ago I bought a pair of Nike shoes, those Nike uh -huh. Air shoes. They were uh -huh. so cool, but I didn't think I could run. My knees killed me. Yeah, that was probably a case where you just went first and foremost for looks, and then right. you didn't consider the function. So usually people feel problems like shin splints, some knee pain, ankle issues. Okay. And so then it's time to go find out what the problem is, okay. and you may discover that they're mismatched. Okay. One real quick thing. Can you show me the difference between the shoes mm -hmm. of where the three different type of shoes? Like, what's yeah. this particular one? How can you tell what it is? This we consider a neutral shoe, uh -huh. and this we consider a stability shoe. This has this gray section. It's a higher density material. It helps stabilize the foot. This is for someone whose foot wants to rotate inwards while okay. they're rolling through their stride. And it helps to neutralize it, to try to keep the, the ankle more upright. Okay. And that helps take the stress off the shins, knees, and helps to eliminate those types of problems down the road. Okay, I like that. Now, how do you know your shoes are worn out? Because that's really important, too. People wear the same shoes for two years. No, 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 not if you're a runner. Yeah. A lot of times, looks can be deceiving when it comes to the wear on a running shoe. Uh -huh. We don't really go by purely the looks, <laughs> okay. although a shoe like this is a good example of a shoe way past its lifespan. We go more by how much mileage have you ran in it. Okay. So you want to estimate, it's about three to 500 miles. Okay. Because a shoe that, for example, that runs only indoors, probably looks clean. Right. So it doesn't look beat up, but after 500 miles, the cushioning has been okay. broken down. So you need cushioning when you run. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us, and hopefully thank if you're thinking about doing the P.F. Chang or maybe just taking up the sport of running, I, can't, I cannot emphasize how important it is to get fitted in the right shoes because you know what? You may actually be a runner. <laughs>